Meliodas so fucking clean. He's a, he's such a beast. He's such a beast ass character, man. Yo, that wrath. We saw a glimpse of, of his wrath. Don't touch his sword, okay? If you try to take his sword, you're going to get bopped, okay? Prime example, look at Bond's fucking neck, man. Bond's neck looking kind of scarred right now because he, he want to test Mel's wrath. He trying to check him. Okay, he want a Costco beat and sample of what that raft do, okay? And guess what that raft does? Leave your scar up and bop, okay? I cannot wait to see Mel this fucking raft 100%. Not, not 25, not 55, I'm talking about 100%. Full blown raft, full angry mode. He told Bond, don't touch my sword. Bond, you better stop. Bigger, you better stop. Test my patience. Don't do it. I want to. I don't know. I want to know why they call you. You know the the dragon of wrath. I want to. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Okay. Oh, I want to take your sword in more. Okay. And Bond got scarred up. He was the one that scarred up Bond's neck. Captain Meliodas. People. The not to no tie da aka seven eight six episode five. Oh my God. Meliodas woke up. Okay. You think the poison will keep him down? That holy knight trying to take a sword, also take Elizabeth, but he's like, yo, you're not taking, you're not taking my sword, and you're not taking Elizabeth. Don't you touch my sword? You better stop. I'm warning you. Better, you better not touch my sword. Better not take away from me. Okay, okay. I want to know Mel's backstory because this some shit he been like he he went through a lot of death. Okay, that person in his flashback. Oh, who was that? Somebody special enough for him to cry, shed tears over. Okay. Oh man, he talk. He talks about what the, uh, a meaning of being a knight. Okay. Also, the doctor getting bopped, just straight up, just slashed up by a holy knight. That was a scumbag move, dick move. Okay, males bopped him, hard bop. Okay, with the big play. No, no, it wasn't big play. It was a small play. Okay, going to the nice, you know, uh, abandoned, uh, uh, damaged uh place just to lure him out. Also, just male all his battle tactics. He's such a smart battle. Like tactic person, okay. He knows how to fight. He knows how to throw them hands, man. He knows what's up. He's smart. That's why I fucked Mel Lewis. One thing about Mel is that I like it that he's smart. He doesn't do dumb shit when it comes to fighting, okay. He's smart with his techniques. He's smart at what he's doing, okay. Learning opponent, his weaknesses, okay. Okay, what is strong suit, what he's doing, okay. Look for the opening, look for weakness, okay. And he just he just goes for it, man. Mel Lewis is such a beast ass kid. Then Bond. Why can't I say about Bond? He's just a beast, man. He is such a man's man. Just stripping, stripping down that apprentice, holy night girl, just stripping down to a, just, just, just jugs, booty cheek city, man. Just straight jugs skin, okay? Just straight bare it all to her comrades, okay? Bond don't care. He's like, oh, this, this arm don't fit me. It's too small. Eh, oh, well. Okay, and Bond had this fucking, like, this suave to him, this swag, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, son, you can't kill me. Like, that type of attitude, like, you can't kill me. Okay, I don't give a fuck, okay? Like, man, I said, like, Bond's okay. If he heard about us coming to the dungeon, then, yeah, he's gonna bust out and handle his. He gonna throw them hands, okay? So, man, is not worried, okay? Also, the fight between Diana and Mel, that was beast. That was hype because they're both hallucinating because the Holy Knight is playing tricks on them. Uh, Mel always sees... Uh, uh, the Holy Knight, but it's Diana, and Diana sees Mel as a Holy Knight, the guy, you know, sh that's playing tricks on them. So, Elizabeth and Hawk are just seeing them going at it, and on the sidelines, some of the Holy Knights are like, hey, we, I guess we have to step in because, you know, he's, uh, he's putting in work and he's going hard against Mel and, and Diana. Just, they fight each other, and yeah, and they're both hallucinating. So, Diana and, and Mel are going ham. That's the whole scene of Mel Owens' wrath, like, just him getting mad. Full-blown, he's mad, like, yo, don't take my sword. If you touch my sword, take my sword, you're getting bop, okay? I'm not letting go of the sword, okay? Oh, man, just the flashback 12 years ago, seeing Bond trying to test uh, uh, Mel Owens' wrath. Like, he want to see wh wh why he, why his nickname that. Like, he's such a nice guy. Why is he called wrath? Like... You no, know, the dragon rat. Why? Like he's such a nice guy, cool guy. Why? He, he's he gets mad. He has wrath. I want to see this too. Okay, Bond is a fucking animal, bro. He don't care. He will see if you're about that life. He's he he tested Melos. See if he was about that life. 
see if the captain live live up to his fucking title. And guess what? Even though uh, Mel was fucking scarred him, he was still like, oh, he still want to go at him. Like, yeah, okay, okay, I see you, I see you, captain, I see you, I see you. I res I respect Bond because you know he he don't give a fuck. Okay, he will go heads up with a motherfucker real quick. Zero to one hundred, real quick, real fucking quick. Okay, with no hesitation. Even though you're a leader and you highly respected, he will still test you and see if you're about that life. Okay, you need a person like Bond to test you every time. Okay, to keep you on your toes. Okay, if you weak, nah, Bond not having that, dog. If you strong and Bond will respect, okay, you strong, okay, you you cool, okay, all right, man, all right, all right, all right. Alright, I see you. I see you. I see you. But yeah, another intense hype episode. More Mel O's hype Bond. I want to see him in action. I want Bond to throw them hands. I want to see his ability. I want to see what he's working with. I also want to see, you know, the, the Fox, the Greed. I want to see, like, w w like, the title. Why does he have that title? I want to see Bond in action. He got stabbed towards the end. And he, like, blood coming down his mouth. He just laughed, like, yeah. No, you, no, you fucked up, right? No, you know you fucked up. Guy talking about, oh, five years ago, who captured you? Who tortured you? You think Bond was scared? Bond ain't scared, bro. He ain't scared. That's what I'm talking about. He ain't scared of shit. He ain't scared of nobody, man. He not even scared of Meliodas. He not even scared of Melo's rap. He laughed at that. He was like, oh, this is, this is exciting. Oh, oh, I really want your sword now. That's Bond. He's a fucking trooper. He's a soldier. He's a soldier, Don. That's what you need in your fucking squad, man. Soldier like Bond. Soldier. Soldier. But anyway, guys, I see you guys later. Guys, thoughts on the Not to No Ties episode 5, aka The Seven Daily Sins, hype episode. Oh, Deanna and Mel is throwing hands. Both of them are hallucinating and they're both fighting each other. Holy fucking shit. I want to know what happened to Mel's sword. Why did, who, broke who broke it? 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 Who broke it?